One of the most amazing organs in the human body is the brain. Originally thought to be located in the skull and stuck in its ways, we now know it to be a highly changeable and adaptable piece of organic hardware, still located in the skull. Join me as I go on a journey to adapt my changing brain, just as my adapting brain changes within me. Welcome to the playground of my mind. Mental plasticity means your brain is almost literally made of plastic, which is malleable. Therefore, you can improve your memory, creativity, concentration and alertness just by getting better at them. The first step is to kick my brain into action. Using my left hand in situations when I'd usually use my right is making my brain work harder. Uh, left hand. I've begun to make other little changes too, like putting objects in different places than usual and eating with my eyes closed, which not only focuses my sense of taste, but requires intuitive use of my hands. Every day I've been completing puzzles to test my brain, and already I've noticed a significant improvement in how quickly I can work out that there's a piece missing from this jigsaw puzzle. I took my training to the next level by throwing my only set of keys off a cliff and cutting off my right arm. This forces me to become proficient with my left hand, which I find clumsy and useless in most situations. The pain from the dismemberment and the disorientation from blood loss will also prove significant challenges to overcome as I try to break into my own home. You're the electrician. Yes. You're the electrician. That's right. And you're male. Yes, I am. You're going to fix my power socket. Yep. You're a certified electrician. I am. You just go all around the place fixing things. Uh huh. Electrical things. That's my job. <laughs> That's your job. Mm hmm. So you've just got all the Regular tools in there? I do. Just the same tools every other electrician has. Yes. Not even in a different colour or anything? And you're good at your job, are you? I get the job done. Do you? How do you do it differently, though? I don't. Well, I just mean, what do you do that makes you different from other electricians? Nothing. I'm all done here. Shouldn't have any more problems with the power there. Y you've just fixed it. I have. Well... Is there anything I should know? Like what? What? Well, I mean... <laughs> being you... Maybe you've... Done something differently. It's just fixed regularly. Well, I suppose at least I pay you differently, right? <laughs> You know, there is something different I do. And what is that?
As I hobble through the broken door, I spot a woman dragging an unconscious man down an unfamiliar hallway to a back room where she will tie him up and throw snide and cleverly worded verbal abuse at him for almost half an hour until the police arrive and arrest him for attempted assault. Is this dramatic pair another thing I have done to myself? Are they actors I paid to invade my home and perform some elaborate skit about sexism to further perplex and challenge my changing brain? As I turn to look at the room around me, I realize this is not my home at all. I begin to remember that I planted the numbers of my own house on this neighboring house in order to confuse myself. I actually live next door. Devilish chap, what's next? Can you help me with the dishes? Too easy. Can you take the rubbish out too? Too easy. And the recycling? Too easy. And can you trim that tree that's on the side of the driveway? Too easy. And the one that's on the other side? Too easy. And the one on the sidewalk because the neighbours keep complaining? Too easy. And that one that's going into our bedroom because that's ridiculous. Too easy. And don't forget to wear a hat because I'm sick of you getting sunburnt. Too easy. And you know, you should really go to the doctor and get those moles checked because I don't want you getting cancer. Too easy. And you said you were going to clean the pool. Can you clean the pool? Too easy. And the air conditioning because it's bloody hot in here. Too easy. Such a doll. And your beard. Your beard needs a trim. Too easy. And you know, you really should use that skipping rope I bought you for your birthday. Too easy, Papa. While you're at the doctor's, you might as well just ask to be put on a diet. Too easy. And you need to go to the church and thank the minister. Too and you need to stop telling your mother to stop calling because it's getting ridiculous. And you need to fix the lamp in the bedroom. And you need to go to the doctor's. And can you please take down the Christmas tree because it's February. It was as a strange man came running out of my house that I remembered that I did in fact sell my house to add further complexity to this mental challenge. Why do I find everything so hard to remember? Maybe the throbbing lump on my head has something to do with it. After a moment of existential panic, I reminded myself, I trained for this. My brain is a finely tuned machine and it can adapt to almost literally any situation. I take a deep breath, and find a moment of calm concentration. I decide that my right arm will help me to better think of a strategy, and I set off to retrieve it. I attempt to hitchhike. Even now, I feel my brain stretching. I've never done anything like this before. Someone stops for me, and my hopes rise. But no sooner have they wound down their window than they are speeding away. It is now that I remember the putrid stench that has been my close companion all day and the human feces I put in my pockets prior to the challenge. But which human? That's really funny, man. Hey, listen, can you keep a secret? Sure I can. I'm gonna ask Sarah to marry me. Whoa. Yep. That's crazy. I know. Can you believe that? No, nope, I, I cannot. cannot. Very unexpected. Who was that? Is someone else there? Oh yeah, it's Cameron. I've got you on speaker. Well, you probably should have told me that before. Oh, sorry, man. Is that a problem? No, I just... I guess I'm telling Cameron now too, then. Oh, shh. No, I can't hear him. What was that? Oh, sorry. Someone was talking. Who? Oh, mate. Charlene wants to, to say something to you. Here she is. Charlene's there. Congratulations, Mark. Yeah, good for you, man. Mark? What kind of a get-together is this? Oh, just pass you back to Rick. Look, listen, can you just tell me, how many people are there who can hear me right now? Oh, just a few, I guess, mate. Uh, there's also Teresa and Quentin and Pete and his brothers are here too. Don't forget us, Rick. Oh, yeah, and your parents. What? Oh, and Sarah's here too. Uh, how about... <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't notice you, Sarah. Uh, she's a bit speechless over there. Well, my Sarah? Yeah, oh, uh, <laughs> I guess that kind of spoils the proposal plans a bit, hey? You could have told me before, Rick. Rick, are you there? Uh, yeah, mate. I, I've just, uh, just taken your speakerphone and stepped outside because I've got to tell you something. Okay. Are you alone? 
Yeah? There's... Look, there's no way in hell you're marrying Sarah. I was uh, actually already planning to propose to her. What? She... Uh, Are you even friends with her? I've been planning this for weeks and you just about where Norm is ruined it in there. Well, whose fault is that, Rick? Just back off, man. You don't know the connection we could Are have. Are you hearing this? What did you say? Is someone else listening? Yep, I'm being filmed for the sketch files, Rick. The crew here heard everything, Rick. Everything. The is, Mark. Sucked in! That was weird, right? Actually, you guys are weirding me out a bit. Could I just drop you off at a bus stop or something? None of us have clicked the button. Not one of us has clicked the button? I, uh, I would have pressed it, but I currently have no arms. That's right. I fed my second arm to a crocodile, which found me trying to swim to retrieve my first arm. If conquering fears is a part of training your brain, I'm excelling at that challenge. My brain is definitely feeling the pressure now. I have to act fast if I'm going to survive. Part of me knows that I have to get to a hospital, but another part is determined to finish my mental plasticity challenge. But how to finish it, I do not know. My past self set up this challenge better than I ever could have anticipated in my post-part amnesia state. I have burned my possessions, I have assaulted policemen, my Facebook account has been deleted, I have nothing. As the hospital appears on the horizon, it dawns on me. The challenge has only just begun. I will make it to the hospital, and I will live for up to 60 more years. During that time, I will have to make new friends, call Facebook customer service to see if they can return my account, possibly go to jail for a while. I'll need to create a home, a life. And all without any arms. This is the life I've designed for myself. By making a few simple changes to my lifestyle, I truly have changed who I am. And my brain's molecules are buzzing with anticipation. Proving that the human brain truly is adaptable.